Hi, welcome to Nick's school. I am Nick. What is your name? Hey, do you know what money means? This is all American money. And here we have different types of coins. And here we have dollar. This is called the dollar bill. B I L L. All the American dollar bills are actually of the same size. But how do you count money? Do you know how to count money? Do you have money? You do? All right. Let me ask you another question here. Do you have a piggy bank? You don't? Oh, oh that's no good. You're a kindergarten student, so you need to have a piggy bank. Tell your mom and dad to take you to the store and buy a piggy bank this weekend. And when you get a piggy bank, you put all your money that you get as a gift or for working around the house, then you put it in your piggy bank. And when you collect a whole bunch of this money, you're going to know how to count money. Then if you count money, it will tell you how much money you have. Why do we need money? Right? Why do you need money? Well, you see, you need money because to buy ice cream, you got to give money. If you go to store and buy books, then you have to give money. If you go to a restaurant and order a pizza or a hamburger, you have to give money. So anything that you buy from the store, you have to give money. And if you go to the barber shop and they cut your hair, tick, 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 finish. They want you to give your money. So you're going to need money to buy anything. Or if you need a service like a haircut. All right. I want you to go and make sure you have a piggy bank ready here. And every time you buy something or you get a service like haircut, make sure you count the money and you give it to the store owner. That's how you learn about money. All right. How do we count money? Okay, let's look at some important things about money. Like this is a paper dollar bill. Say this is a one dollar bill. That is B-I-L-L. -L. Repeat what I said. This is a one dollar bill which is made out of a special paper. And this is guaranteed by the United States of America. It also tells us what is the denomination. So this is one dollar, D-O-L-L-A-R. And they also print the numbers here. So you can see this is one dollar. And they also have printed in letters here, O-N-E, one dollar. So this is one dollar. And the smallest denomination we have is called one cent. One that is O N E cent C E N T. Okay, this cent is produced by the United States of America. This is made out of copper. It is like a circle, it is very thin, and it has a nice picture here. All right. So this is one cent, which is the smallest money coin we have. One dollar and one cent. How many cents do we need to make one dollar? Do you know? Can you tell me? Okay, let's figure it out. All right. Okay, let's go and look at some more coins. Then we will know how many cents we need to make one dollar bill. All right. Okay, let's move on here and look at here. Okay, here are some other coins that are used by us in everyday transactions. That is when we buy things. I already told you one cent. We have a nickel coin which is known as five cents. Again, it is made by the United States of America. And this is five cents. So if you put five one cents, 
then you get 5 cents and this is called the nickel that is N I C K L A it is called the nickel that is the pet name for 5 cents. Then we have one dime actually dime looks like a nickel but it is smaller than nickel and one dime is equal to 10 cents. Oh, here we have 1 cent that means how many 1 cents we have to put to make 1 dime take a guess it is going to be 10 cents that means you have to have 10 cents to make a dime all right. The next bigger coin we have is called the quarter dollar quarter means 1 fourth. So, if you have 4 parts then 1 part is called a quarter all right. So, if we have 1 quarter, 2 quarter, 3 quarter and 4 quarter when you put all of them together it becomes 1 dollar and we also have a 1 dollar coin. So, these metal circles are known as coins C O I N S repeat these metal circles are known as coins they are made out of copper and nickel whereas a dollar bill is like a paper it is made out of a special paper all right let us now learn how to count money so we just learned what are all the different coins and we also learned what a dollar bill looks like all right let's go further and look at how to count money now okay here is 5 cents coin. What is a 5 cents coin called? I just told you nickel say it 5 cents is called a nickel very good ok. Ok now let us look at and see how many 1 cent coins we need to make a 5 cents all right and here let us take a pen here and count ok let us count here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, we have 5 1 cents which is equal to 5 cents. So, that is how you calculate money you can either give 5 1 cents or you can give 1 5 cent which is called a nickel this 1 cent is also called a penny p e n n y penny let us write it here this is also called penny p e n n this is also called a penny all right let us go and look at some other coins here ok here we have a dime one dime is equal to how many pennies I already told you one dime is equal to 10 pennies or 10 cents. So, here we can look at we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 1 cents is equal to 1 dime. You can also say 10 pennies are equal to 1 dime very good. So, we learnt about a nickel or a 5 cent which takes 5 1 cents. Now, we learned about 1 dime which is equal to 10 pennies ok. Let us look at something more now let us go to the next slide here. Now, here we have a quarter a quarter dollar this is a quarter dollar a quarter dollar has a quarter dollar has 25 cents or pennies. So, what do we have here? We got a 5 cent. So, we got 1 5 cent 
we have 2 5 cents, we have 3 5 cents, we have 4 5 cents and we have 5 5 cents. So, when you put 5 times 5 that is going to give you 25 cents. So, a quarter is equal to 25 cents. See, we started off with 1 penny, then we went to a nickel which is equal to 5 pennies. Then we looked at 1 dime which is equal to 10 pennies. Now, we are looking at quarter dollar which is equal to 5, 5 cents or 25 cents or pennies. All right, let us move right along. You are doing good. Now, here look at it. Now, we are on a 1 dollar bill. 1 dollar bill is equal to 4 quarters. I told you quarter means 1 out of 4 parts. So, if you put 4 parts that is quarter number 1, 2, 3, 4, we get a dollar bill. So, 1 dollar bill has how many cents? Let us count here. Well, this quarter has 25 cents. So, this quarter has 25 cents, this quarter has 25 cents and this quarter has 25 cents. When you add all these 25 cents together, we get a dollar bill and these 25 cents together, they become 100 cents. So, a dollar bill is equal to 4 quarters or 100 cents cents or pennies. All right. So, we are learning a lot about money here. Okay. Let us go to the next part here. And I told you the dollar bills also come in different numbers. So, this is a 1 dollar bill. Aha. Uh -huh, look at this. This is Abraham Lincoln and this is also an American dollar, but the number is 5. That means it is 5 dollars, 5 dollars. So, 5 dollars should be equal to 5 1 dollar bills. So, you got 1, 2, 3, you got 4 and a 5. So, we got 5 1 dollar bills equal to 1 5 dollar bill. Huh, how about that? Okay, let us go further here and learn more about dollar bills. Here we have a, oh look at that, that is 20 dollars. This is 20 dollars. So, this is a 20 dollars by the United States of America. Ha huh, ha, huh, 20 dollars. Do you know how many 1 dollar bills you need to make a 20 dollar bill? this many dollars you need. Let us count here. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is 5 dollars. Then in the second row again we have 5 dollars. All right. Now, here see we have what? 5 dollars and here again we have 5 dollars and if you count here see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, this is 5. So, we got another 5 dollars here and same way we got 5 dollars here. So, if you know your math, 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 and same way if we add 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. So, 10 plus 10 is equal to 20 dollars. All right. So, a 20 dollar bill contains 21 dollar bills. Ha ha, I like the map. This is really cool. That means, if you have a 20 dollars in your piggy bank, it is equal to having 21 dollar bills. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of money to put in your piggy bank. What do you think? All right, let us learn more about money here. I think I like this. This is a lot of fun. Oh my gosh, did you see the number here? You know what this number is? 
you should know, a kindergarten kid should know from 1 to 100. So, this is 1, 0, 0, that is equal to 100 dollars. Oh gosh, this is a big number. What do you think? Yes, you are right, it is a big number and this is by the United States of America. It also has here 1, 0, 0, that is 100 dollars. Here it says 100 dollars. Can you take a guess how many 1 dollar bills you are going to need to make a 100 dollar bill? It already tells you here 100 dollars. That means you are going to need 100 1 dollar bills to make a 100 dollar 1 bill. Aha! This is lot of fun. I like it. How about you? Do you like it? Okay, I tell you what, let us start off with a simple piggy bank now. I want to make sure you have a piggy bank before this weekend. Then you put all the money you have in your closet or drawer or anywhere and put them in the piggy bank. Each week see how much more you have collected and if you get a birthday and if somebody gives you a gift, you put that money right here. All your gift money, G-I-F-T, you put your gift money in the piggy bank. Then when you want to go and get some ice cream, then you ask them, how much is the ice cream please? He says, one dollar. How are you going to count one dollar? Either you can give one hundred one pennies or you can give four quarter dollars. So, you can say, oh this is a quarter dollar. So, for one dollar ice cream, I have to give four quarter, four quarters. It is called the Q U A or T E or S. It is called the four quarters. That is how you calculate the money. And if you go to your restaurant or a snack place and you order a hamburger, then you check with the lady and say, how much is the hamburger? That is how you learn about money. Every time you have to ask questions. How much is a pair of shoes? How much is this skirt? And most places they have labels. They have little labels like this, little, they call the tags. There it says dollar ten. So, you look at the tag, the tag will tell you how, what is the price of an item. See, this is where you start off. First, you have to have a piggy bank. Then you collect all your money and when you buy stuff in the store, you give the money yourself and make sure you get the change back. When the change comes back, you put the change in the piggy bank. All right? Oh gosh, we learnt a lot about money. Okay, what I want you to do is go back, rewind this tape and listen to every word I am telling you. Then you repeat every word I say. Then you are going to learn about money, how to count money, how to say these names and then how to find out how much money you have in your piggy bank. You will also learn how to give money to buy things and how to make sure that you get your change back. All right? Okay. Bye-bye. We will see you next time. Okay? Bye.